Dr. Bob here to talk about brain health. Now there's all sorts of minerals that are good for the brain. There's magnesium, potassium, we've heard about those. What about three you haven't heard of? Platinum? Platinum? Yep. Indium? What's that for? We're going to find out. And gold. First one's platinum. I take that one in the morning and I want to take it as far away or as many hours between gold as possible because they're a lot like each other in the periodic table. So we don't want the body to get confused or take one or get confused with the other and not take the other one in. So we want to take them far apart as possible. Platinum in the morning. It's great for brain conductivity. Second mineral that's great for the brain is indium. Very little known about indium. Uh, very few people ever heard of indium, but it feeds the pineal gland. That's in the center of the brain, and that's kind of, in a way, the control center for the whole thing. But if you want longevity, you got to keep the pineal gland uh, in excellent shape, and you got to feed it. And the main mineral that the pineal gland is going to need is indium. Third mineral is gold. We all know what gold, we hear about it, but what does it do? It feeds the brain, it helps with the conductivity, but it helps with sleep regulation. You'll, you take it every single day, you'll begin to sleep through the night, you'll sleep very deeply, and you'll remember your dreams also. They call this lucid dreaming, where you have your dreams very, very clear, uh, very cognitive of what's going on in your dreams. You got to do it on a regular basis, but again, feeding that conductivity, which is what the brain is all what's about. What's the best way to take a mineral? Well, in my opinion, it's the angstrom form, liquid angstrom. You take a small capful like this, or about a teaspoon, and uh, you pour it off, put it under your tongue, hold it for as long as you possibly can. If that's 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes, that's fine. It goes directly into the body through the sublingual duct under the tongue and the surrounding tissue. It's the most effective way to get it into the bloodstream and hit, let it hit the heart and be sweat, spread throughout the body immediately. Three great minerals for the brain. Platinum for clear thinking in the morning. Indium for the pineal gland, that's what feeds it, that's longevity, got to have that. Gold for sleep regulation, lucid dreaming, and it feeds the brain as well. Mineralization of the brain is critical for longevity, for staving off your uh, brain diseases, dementia related diseases such as Alzheimer's or, or brain seizures. You got to feed it magnesium, potassium, but these three, the platinum, the indium and the gold overlooked and essential.